guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Jordan Arbery here and today I'm standing up, I'm mobile and I'm gonna show you guys how I use these two strobes right here to create a pure white background. No white background necessary, no wall, no nothing. I use this for headshots, beauty shots, portraits, whatever, anything that's kind of waist up and I want to show you guys how you guys can do it too. Make sure you first hit subscribe and hit like to see more content from me. And then we can get into this video. Lego. All right, so for this video, I am working with two flashpoint lights. This one is a 600. Uh, Flashpoint 600, yep, Explore. And then this one is a Flashpoint Explore 400 Pro. The 600 is a little bit stronger than the 400, but you can do this with almost any light as long as it's not a constant light source. It has to be some sort of strobe. So make sure you have at least two light sources to be able to create this lighting setup. I am gonna be working with these C-stands and I'm going to be using these two soft boxes. So I have a 48 inch soft box, which is right here. And this one is made by Newer. And then I have this Pear Pop Glow soft box. Whoa. This one is 28 inches. So this one's a little smaller. I'm gonna use the smaller one to fill in the light on my face and I'm gonna use the larger one behind me to create that white backdrop. Okay, so now that I have my lights all set up, I have this 48 inch in the back here. This is the light that is going to be behind me. So I will put my subjects right up against this softbox. I can literally have them touching it to get the most light to wrap around them. And then I have this light right here in the front that's gonna fill in all the shadows on my face. So let's go ahead and jump over to camera mode so I can show you guys what it's gonna look like when I have these lights all set up. So this light from the back is going to create full darkness here in front of you because it's just going to go power right from behind you. Boom. Darkens you up. Gives all the light to the background. Then we have this key light. Brightens up your face. Adds light to your front. And that's how we make it happen. Alright, so this is essentially my light setup. I'm going to have my model all the way against this here softbox the back soft box and I'm gonna have this main light that just fills in my face. So if I go ahead and take a picture here. Now let's check it out. So we have a pure white background. You may have some pictures where you see a little bit of the outer edge of the light um, that's in your photo and that's okay. You can either Photoshop that out really easily or you can just frame up your shot so that it's not in there, you know? Um, and then if you want to go for a little bit of a cooler look, a little bit of a silhouette, you can actually turn off this front light. So I'm gonna have to turn this light off. And if I take another picture, so you see without it, we just have a complete shadow. This picture really just shows a silhouette of me and you can't really see any much light on the front of me. You just see a little bit of it coming from the natural light that's coming into my home. Um, or maybe even that little, it's a little bit of a wraparound light. 
but it mostly gives you a silhouette. You can work with this in Photoshop to create a more dramatic silhouette, but it definitely gives you a great starting ground. I love taking pictures like this whenever I am working on like beauty shots or if I just don't have a white background or maybe I don't want to put it up because I'm being lazy. Um, it's just a really cool technique that you can use to create a perfectly white background. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something new. Let me know in the comments below if you know any other techniques to get your pictures to have a super white background. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you in my next upload. Peace.